That's for you. That's, That's for you, babe. Wow. Thursday, December 1st, 2016. My co host today is Mark Consuelo. It's so nice to be here. AKA my baby daddy. <laughs> I say that to all my co-hosts. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow, everyone looks so nice, so festive. Yeah, right? yeah. Every, First I, like, day of I love this time of year. Everybody yes. gets uh, they step up their A game because they're they look in, so nice. They they come to town to see other shows and this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm, I've been home for a few weeks now. How are you adjusting? I want to ask the... you how you know how. Here's the thing. It, it, we've been together twenty some odd years, right? Twenty. Twenty some odd years. Twenty some yes. odd years. Yeah. <laughs> and. I was living How in nice Los of Angeles. How nice to remember. I was living in Los Angeles. Yes, the happiest year of your the life. Happiest three months. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, and when I came home, it was, I, I noticed that you seemed a little on edge. I was doing things wrong. And so I called my friend. Uh, we have close friends, uh, Willie and Gretchen. And Willie played baseball for centuries for the Yankees. And centuries, other yes. And, centuries. You go, and, and so I talked to Gretchen as well. And they said, listen, it was, it's just like when Willie would come home from a season, you have to like, there's a readjustment. And he said, he said my advice to me was to tread lightly. So that's what I've been doing. I've been treading lightly. <laughs> Is that what you think you've been doing? Correct, so I knew she was gonna say that. So last night I sealed an envelope, oh, oh. right? And so open the, open the envelope. What is this? Oh, you open, really want yeah, me to open, open the envelope? This? Okay. This is, you know what? Yep. This is scandalous. The fact that you've all been producing things behind my back. <laughs> oh, is that what you think you've been doing? <laughs> Do I know you? Do I know you? My other go-to was, I thought you might say, oh, is that what you call it? Oh, that's funny. Which so you had be, two oh. I had Just in case. Oh. Take that, Neil Patrick Harris, with your little yeah. sealed envelope. Yeah, that's funny. You're like that octopus that predicts presidential elections and stuff, <laughs> and, the, and the Super Bowl winners. What did you miss, and what did you not miss? Of, About of having, you? Yeah. What did you, well, what? I mean, what do you mean? You act like you were away overseas. You were at in war. California. I was at war. Yeah, you were in California, and I, um, I saw you like every other weekend. That's true. Uh, what did I miss about you? Okay, yeah. I missed everything. I love the way you smell. I love mm. the way you look. And I sleep better when you're in the house. Except for last night, for some right. reason, I didn't sleep at all. But that's not the point. But everybody wants to hear what, 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 did, what did you not miss? Well, I've already told everybody. <laughs> you come in, and but you would do this. You would do this from California because I don't know what kind of magic you have on your phone. He controls the temperature of every room. <laughs> Suddenly, I'll be sleeping, and the air conditioner will kick on. And I'm freezing, and I turn the air off, and a few minutes later, it's back on. And I turn it off, and then I call him, and I say, whatever you're so doing, So you hate the fact it. that I'm like, I, I control, I like to control things. You hate that. You control everything. Right. Well, I missed everything. About well. me? Yes, missed everything, except for one thing. One thing is that... <laughs> Thing is a it is. So he didn't miss about me. It you, is. Are you, you're watching this, right? No. Okay. So there's, there's one thing you do is like if you smell something bad or if you taste something bad, yeah. you want me to taste it and smell it. Yeah. And I just yeah. don't want to taste or smell any of that stuff. And well, We're like, like that commercial. That commercial. If you check right here, there's a Wait. commercial. Hey, check, check it out. I, I've queued up. Oh, uh, it's oh. awful. Try it. Oh, no, that looks gross. What is that? You got to try it. It's terrible. I don't want to try it. It's terrible. It's like mango chutney and, and burnt hair. No, thank you. I have a very sensitive palate. Just try it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do to me. I'm like, I don't want to smell it. I just we, don't. We it? first saw that commercial, and I thought that car company or what, that insurance company uh, bugged our house. Because we've had that, we've had the chutney and burnt hair conversation. Yes. Where I'm like, taste this. It tastes like mango chutney and burnt hair. Right. Right? Right, right. And I don't like doing that. All right, so I so don't so don't smell it. Don't taste it. <laughs> <laughs> when when does that show go into production again? That's all I have to say. God, I hope soon. I will I will say this. You have never looked younger than when you lived away from us. Really? You came in. Yeah. He came in. He looked like Harry Hamlin in Clash of the Titans. Oh. On the winged Pegasus in a loincloth. <laughs> Tan? I'm not kidding. Tan. Hair, fl hair like flowing. He had he had Medusa's head in a bag. I was Medusa, <laughs> and, and I 
just looked, uh, I look, I feel like I aged like seven years for every one no. minute. No, I swear, you looked so good when you came home. You've settled back into I looking like yourself, <laughs> but you look so young <laughs> while you were away. I gotta tell you, California's really nice. I Los know. Los Angeles is real. I mean, it's it's a gentle. You wake up, the sun is in your face. Mm. You're driving home, the sun is in your face. You should get back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my cholesterol went down. It did. His cholesterol my cholesterol went, went down. My cholesterol went down. My testosterone's back up. Yeah, I know. I thought. Girls gets a little something out of it, doesn't she? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. I. But I have to tell you, I certainly do uh, yeah. love that show pitch that you're on. Thank you. I really love yeah. it. I think it's so good. <laughs> and you know, I'm honest. I'm very honest. Yes. You've been on shows where I'm like. Pfft. You're like, boo. I don't know, boo. <laughs> Run that for the hills. A, that was an awful lot of waste of your time. <laughs> this, I love this show so yeah, much. It's I a good, really it's a good enjoy group it. Of people, and it's yeah. a good show. I'm proud of it. Yeah, so, you and, should um, be. We're and on, you, we're on and, tonight. And you're on tonight. That's right. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. On Fox. Fox. That's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Of course, tonight's the office Christmas oh, party, yes. so I don't know what kind of shape we're going to be in. Well, we're going to DVR We're going to DVR We're going to DVR it. Right. We're going to drunk watch Cause we're gonna, Yeah, because we're going to be cutting loose with this band of marauders you see around you, <laughs> operating equipment. I hope everybody's able to operate the equipment tomorrow, because it's going to be messy. It's, it's going to be a messy, really messy, messy tomorrow. Messy tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so listen, I yeah. know that you love cats. You are a cat lover. <laughs> Nobody loves a cat as much as Mark. No? Nope. Mm. I'm aller I'm highly allergic. Oh, that's right. You're allergic. I knew there was highly something about allergic. you and cats. Like airborne. Like airborne, allergic. right. Right. So have you ever been licked by a cat? Never. Never? I don't You've think so. You've never been licked by no, a cat? No, why? Because cats... Who's been licked by a cat? Right? It's great. Right? Guys, it's a great feeling, right? You're like, what is that? It's like, it's like, it's like I'm being exfoliated. Does it feel like a, like a, like, like a shark skin? No, it's it's not a shark skin. It's like sand. It's like more sandpapery. It's yeah. like it's like pricklier. It's like it's like it's like if a Christmas tree brush was brushing up against you, almost like a branch of a Christmas tree. Okay. So cat's sandpapery tongue is actually magical detangling hairbrush material on the tongue of a cat. And check it oh. out. I have it enlarged so you can feast your eyes on what the cat's tongue looks like. So it's. It's like little it's like bristles, little it's like yeah, a little and it's got like a piece of its own hair there. You can see. Where on the tongue is the part that makes the people who own the cat crazy? Where's that? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like I a don't crazy know. cat person. Where's, yes. Where's, no, no offense to people who have cats no. out there. No, no, none taken. But there is a thing. I there's read a, a thing. thing. There's a thing. There's a scientific I read a thing study about that, that. That when cats were introduced into certain cities back, you know, a couple centuries ago, the instance of um, schizophrenia went up. I'm just saying. <laughs> That they have, I, 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 it's true. It's, it's, it's true. It's, it was in a, it was um, it in was a newspaper. In, it was in a newspaper. I read it. That there's a there's something that makes you want to have more cats. Yes, they release a chemical when you touch a cat. They say that there is a protein that is released, an yeah. enzyme that makes you desire more cats, which is why you see so many multi-catted people. Or specifically, ladies. Hey, here's another cat tongue picture. We have another one too. Oh, we do? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Right. Remember that horrible. gadget there? Yeah, that was amazing. Guys, don't knock it till you try it. Don't your yuck my. Looks, your hair looks great in that picture. My hair looks great in that picture? Yeah, it was very blonde. It was nice. It was like, I like it. It's it looks exactly like it looks yeah. right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's, that's what's good about you, Mark. Every day is like a new it's day. It's like a new day. He's like, hi, I'm Mark. And I'm like, I know, I'm your wife of 20 years. 20 some odd years. 20 some odd years. Um, hey, yes. this is really sad news. Oh, the creator man. of the Big Mac passed yeah. away. Yeah. I know. Michael James Jim Delegati. Yeah. He invented the Big Mac. Nearly 50 years ago. He was 98 years old. And, uh... Sing it with me now. To all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, Jesus. cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame That's seed me. bun. I don't know. I don't know algebra, but I know that jingle. Do you remember 
the Big Mac attack, like survival kit. Yeah. Where if you wanted a Big Mac, this is 70s. We're talking like the 70s, late 70s, mid 70s. You could scratch and sniff. You could smell the Big Mac attack. It, it, no, it that was only you had that. That regional. Yeah, that was a regional, was a regional thing. thing. Yeah, because we Do had. Do you the remember in 1986 when the U.S. went to the Olympics and it was just like the U.S. and they had gave out those the Summer Olympics and they gave out those scratch things. Yes. If the U.S. won a gold medal, you got a free Big Mac. Yeah, I sure do. My brother worked at McDonald's. You shut your mouth. He worked at McDonald's. <laughs> he was the fry guy. And so we had stacks of these, these cards. And the U.S. won everything, I think, because the Soviet Union at the time didn't participate that year, right? right. So it was just like the U.S. Did you see our research team go... Yeah. <laughs> well, I go to Gilman with all my questions. Yeah, he's yeah, our yeah. sports expert. I had so many Big Macs that year. Was your brother sneaking you extra scratch-offs? Yeah, well, that's, that was yeah. part of the gig. Yeah, right. Extra scratch-offs. Scratch-offs. Right. Scratch-offs. Scratch <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my... Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, listen, yeah. we always talk about this because Mark and I got married and we eloped, you know, and our wedding, uh, and I'm very... Uh, the thing I'm proudest about not the endurance of our marriage. Right. Because I think lots of... Not the of, three kids. No, I am proud of the three okay. kids. But what I'm proud of in terms of our wedding is that it only cost $179, including <laughs> airfare. Because I was I very sensible yeah, when they asked for the video recording as proof of us getting married. I said, no. <laughs> I said, I just want the audio recording. <laughs> Just the audio recording. Much cheaper. I know. A lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper because, you know, the video recording cranked the price up another $20. <laughs> and it it's one thing edge. to spend $179 on your wedding. It's an entirely different thing to spend $199 on your wedding. Anyway, <laughs> funny you should bring it up. So this couple yeah. had their 70th wedding anniversary. Oh, okay, nice. amazing, incredible. They, like us, had a simple wedding. Right. They were high school sweethearts. They had no photos from their wedding day. They said that they were sure people had cameras back in those days, but nobody thought to bring one. So they recreated okay. with their four children, eight grandchildren, eight uh, and eight great-grandchildren, their 70th anniversary on Thanksgiving Day, and they recreated their wedding photos. Aww, that's Isn't that nice? It's very sweet. I, it's very sweet. I really hope that for us, and I hope that on we our... We only have 50 more years to go. You think we can do it in I 50 wanna, years? In 50 years, I want to do a video. Okay. <laughs> by then, by, by then. By then. What will it, it won't be video. By it then, won't even be it like, won't be video. We'll just blink at each other, and we'll and the yeah, chip like, in our brains will record you'll everything. Be like, you'll, you'll be like, smell this, it's horrible. <laughs> Taste this, it's terrible. Do you promise to smell and taste all of the horrible things? <laughs> yes. You know what we should do? We should write our wedding... Vowels? <laughs> you're, a so, you're a monster. <laughs> we should write our wedding vows, yes. and, um, but write them the way that would actually mean something to us instead of the honor and obey, because, you know, we don't honor or no, obey, obey each other. Yeah. So, but, we, but it would be amazing, like, if I were to say to you, I promise to not resist the urge to make you taste and smell everything that's horrible, right. and you promise not to, to breathe in my face and lower the temperature all the time. Wait, breathe in your face? Is this, this you, is new. Well, you're, I feel like you suck the oxygen out of my lungs, but that's not. <laughs> that's not a big deal. That's, that's a new one. Well, it's not real. It's not really new. I just. It's not new. It's the I, first just, time. I just keep it down. I keep it deep down. I keep it deep, deep down. Yeah, you know, you 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 breathe. <laughs> It's not too late for couples therapy. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We have a huge show. We do, we yeah. Show. Who's on the show today? Leah Schreiber's here, wow. everybody. Yeah. I, love, I love his voice.
Yes. He's got a great voice. He has one of the greatest voices. He does all of the... Um, or used to do. I'm not sure he uh, still does yeah, it. Yeah, uh, for HBO, he boxing. was doing all of the boxing yeah. documentary voiceovers. And, and he really yeah. is like... Every time I see him, and I may have said this out loud a few times, like, I said, can you just say Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing when yeah, he says yeah. that. Yeah, and he always, he always laughs, but I'm sure he's annoyed. Well, anyway. we'll make him say it today. Yeah, well, also here from uh, Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, Matt Zucri is here. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> and we continue live's holiday gift guide con uh, it continues with a look at the hottest toys this season. Toys! We're going to play with yeah. toys! I love the toy guy. I love the toy guy. I, I have to say this. We have three kids, as you know, a 19-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a 13-year-old. And the only uh, child that has made out their Christmas list is our 19-year-old. And it is... It's true. Riddled with toys and comics. He goes, and I'm like, I don't left, even know what to make out of it. Before he left for school Sunday night, he goes, I just want to make sure my Christmas list is approved. Yeah. I go, what are you talking about? You have a Christmas list? We're like, list? aren't you a grown-up? Aren't you like a... <laughs> Didn't you vote in this election? I mean, like, aren't you... Did you approve it? I was like, we're good, right? Yeah. We don't need to go out and buy you toys, right? He's like, well, there's a couple of collectibles. <laughs> I'm telling you, we, have, we have some collectibles. Oh, He'll like some of these. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, so, slip them yeah. in the truck of the car, Gelman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, it's time for Lives of Party Travel Trivia! Back of my hand. I know, but that is crazy. We're still talking about how he knew what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, hey, today's trivia dancer is Katie Dempsey from Boiser City, Louisiana. Hey there. Is that is that near Pineville? Um, it's not. It's kind of more north. Oh, more north. All right. I only know, I mean, forgive me, I really only know Pineville because that's where Faith Ford is from. So I always, yeah. anybody from Louisiana, I ask them if they're near Pineville. <laughs> <laughs> or Palmville, as she calls it. Palmville. Palmville. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Who's on the phone? Cheryl O'Brien from South Bend, Indiana. Oh, cool. Good morning. Hey, Good morning, Cheryl. Cheryl. How, is it, how is it in South Bend? Well, it's a little cloudy and snowy today, but it's always beautiful in South Bend. So if I asked you, out of 365 days, I think 362 of those days would be snowy and cloudy in South no, Bend. No, <laughs> no, no, that's not true. We have some sunny days, too. You're, yeah, what what I, do you do for a living, yes. Cheryl? I work at the University of Notre Dame in the um, uh, athletic ticket office. How about that? How about that? You know, a young Mark Consuelos received an athletic scholarship to Notre I was Dame. there for two years uh, back in the early, late 80s, early 90s, and it was snowy and cloudy every day. Well, I heard. I heard that you were here. Oh, I, really? I, I, I'm sorry that you didn't make it all four years, but I think it was awesome. Cheryl, Cheryl, he, he didn't know what to do with the winter. Oh, that's too bad. Well, the tough... Tough stick around here, so yes, the tough do stick around. <laughs> the tough do stick around, and the smart get out. Oh, All right, Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. I have to tell you the funniest story, though, and we don't have time for it. But it's when my mother-in-law and father-in-law dropped Mark off at college. They didn't think to book a hotel room, and they wound up booking themselves into the only hotel available, which was an all, uh, it was an erotic hotel with all, you know what I mean? With like a circular rotating bed, and, and as my mother-in-law says, Kelly, the TV was total porno. <laughs> time for that story. I gave her the, the, yeah. I gave her the short version. There we go. Listen, Cheryl, we're going to spin the wheel and see what you're playing for. Good luck, Cheryl. Where's she going? Let's see. Ooh, Ooh, the Long Bay Beach Club in Tortola. Seven days, six <laughs> nights in a beachfront room, all inclusive. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize value at $6,800. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Cheryl, good luck. Okay, on yesterday's show, what animal did we say is monogamous for one year? The flamingo. Yeah. 
Congratulations, you were the guest of the great seven days and six nights at the Long Bay Beach Club on the island of Tortola. Located on a mile top from Powder Sand, overlooking the Caribbean Sea, this beachfront property features award-winning dining, contemporary decor, and first-rate amenities. This one-of-a-kind oasis provides perfect setting for a relaxing and memorable vacation getaway. Your prize is valued at approximately $6,800. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And oh, you sorry. need it because you live in South Bend. <laughs> I'll get away this winter and I'll think of you, Marco. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500 gift certificate from Bed, Bath, and Beyond. Yeah. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. Number 22. Oh, oh, 22. 22. Yeah. Hey, coming up next, Liev Schreiber. Still ahead on live, live's holiday guest guy continues with a look at the top toys of the season. From Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, Matt Zucri. And coming up next, Liev Schreiber. Wrong. <laughs> he swears that you guys cheated, and that's why I won that race. Still, he's still complaining about it. They turned later. off the power to the cars. <laughs> Those were some more Live with Kelly memorable moments. Just go to our website or Facebook page to vote for all of your favorites, and just by voting, you are eligible to win a prize. Wow. 500 bucks? Yeah, 500. Wow, just to vote? Wow. Yeah. You should vote. I'm going to vote. <laughs> 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 He's taking a break from Ray Donovan to play the notorious womanizer Valmont on Broadway. Please welcome Tony Award winning actor Liev Schreiber. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for waking up and being here with us. I would wow. think these are terrible hours for you. It, I had two shows yesterday, so I'm, I'm a little slow on the uptake, but that entrance right there yeah. with the corridor of, Wakes you uh, up, right? Yeah, that, that'll get you. Yeah, Hallway of Champions. Hallway of Champions. How are your sons? <sighs> My sons are great. He, I have to, I have to brag. Liev's kids are the best looking kids I think I've ever seen. I think you're right. Yeah, no, they're, they're, like, they're like the J. Crew catalog kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. I'm, you know, I, yeah, sure. Okay, right. The All J. right, Crew okay, fine. Kids. They're cuter than those kids. They're okay, yeah, thank is that you. what you want to That's hear? That's what I was, Cuter than the J. Crew catalog kids would have been the right <laughs> thing think, to say. Do you think they're going to follow in the footsteps? Do you, do you think they want to be actors? What are they like? Right now, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Right. Um, I wish that I could discourage them in right. some way, but I don't think you can. I no. think you have yeah. no, you know what I mean? I don't think you have control over stuff Well, you like weren't that. discouraged, were you? No, my mother loved it. Yeah, she thought right. it was the greatest thing in the world. She actually wanted me to be a ballet dancer. Which no was, kidding. Oh, that would have been interesting. How did that, did you, did you, did you do ballet I lessons? I did. <laughs> yeah. I did, briefly. And we have uh, a photo right here. Yeah. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> That would have been, been amazing. I was like, just, Mark, do you I really? Just almost relieved myself in this case. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first, no, Liev. You know what I'm I, saying? Yeah. Hey, now, when will Ray Donovan return? Because I know you're taking Same time. We'll Same be time. back okay. next year. Great. Great. Super. Yeah. Um, we look forward to that. I heard this crazy rumor. Mm. Uh, we talked about your mom before. Uh, did you have a childhood hood nickname that oh, is boy. like... Huggy Wuggy Wookie Wookie or something? What? What? You had like a childhood nickname. I, I, didn't we talk about this? So you're just well, like, you, just like you you're punishing said it was, me. You like, said your it's nickname Huggy was Buggy Pinchy Winchy. Pinchy Winchy, right? Last time you said it was Huggy, but then somebody told me it, else. Well, they're like, no, Huggy's, it's longer. Than Huggy, that. what's Huggy is what's stuck. Right. My brothers and my mother. I, you know, I'm almost fifty. I'm six three. I'm two hundred and fifteen pounds, and my whole family calls me Huggy. Yeah. And my my brother, when I was an infant, reached into my carriage and I grabbed his ears and pulled him down to me and bit his nose. 
Uh, which is something that all babies do. This is not a remarkable thing. I love the way Leah said that. All babies all do babies this. All babies do that. And then I you punched him in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Only this baby does. Well, no. <laughs> and, and he said, he responded to that. He told my mom, that's Huggy Buggy Pinchy Winchy. That's oh, how I got that. That's okay. So, oh, yeah. that's okay. Sweet. We're going to get you a t shirt that it says that. Buddy, buddy, yeah. And listen, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to uh, come back and talk to Liev about that. Liev, 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 Liev. Still it's a It's a very dark, and uh, sexy. sexy comedy. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about the play. So in the, in the early 80s, because for Hampton Road and very successful in London, and, and uh, then became the film Dangerous Liaisons. And, and you, of course, play a, you are the, a, what, what's the correct word? Uh, scoundrel? Yes. You are the sexual <laughs> scoundrel. I'm the, the cad. Play. You are the, the cad. cad. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Cad. Yeah. Valmont. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was a, the first day in the of play. work. On, in the play. Right. right. The <laughs> The first day of work, yeah. you're not going into rehearsal. You go into a photo shoot for yeah, the Playbill cover, that's right. which we have a copy of here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Janet yep. McTeer, the most amazing actress in the world. Yep. Let me tell you something. Uh-huh. Donna, your producer, Donna Bass. Yeah. Yeah. She walks around staring at that cover. She has not gotten over it. <laughs> she carries it. It's a, no, I bet true. you it's she in her walks, back pocket right now. She's very, she, like, she's very she, into this. Yeah, her mother's oh, here. Oh, yeah, and so your mother's easy. here. Well, yeah. she should and know. Her cousins. Yeah, she should know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, she's mm. not gotten over it. Mm. Um, but are, were you prepared for no, the amount we had actually of physicality? Just, we had just met before yeah. that photograph was taken. So it's like high, high, and then... Let's make out. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Welcome to my world. That's yeah. really what, I mean, that's what acting's all that's about. That's what acting is all no. about. No. I mean, I had an option. jobs, right? I could have been a brick mason's assistant. Hey! Yeah. So I said, you know what? This one where you make out with people as soon as you meet them, that looks like a good gig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good gig. <laughs> I love it. I think it's fantastic. Listen, he's never complained. <laughs> Listen, uh, go see Les Lia Li Liaisons de Jerus, right? Les Liaisons de Jerus. of Gilmore Girls have been waiting and wondering about Rory and Logan. Our next guest may have some insight. Please welcome Matt Zucri. before we even announced you coming out. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. But people Thank still you. miss you on Sunday nights. Uh, Seven years on The Good Wife. I mean, come on. We still... You. My parents say the same thing. You know, uh, <laughs> right, yeah, Sunday nights, seven, seven years is a long time, and uh, I miss those little things, you know, my parents texting me after every episode. My mom actually got confused of what night it was right. because Sunday nights weren't coming on with Good Wife anymore, so right. uh, I miss the Dave Matthews in the makeup trailer, yeah. and uh, it's those little moments that connect the world. And you, you shot know? here in New York. We that's, did, yeah. That's great. Yeah. I mean, to be able to shoot to in New shoot. York. Yeah. One of the best things about that, too, is, is just, I, I don't know if I ever would have lived in the city if I hadn't yeah. worked on that. Job, you know, it's so. also nice shooting in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's also very nice. He's it is constantly it's, going on and on about the sun and warmth. Yeah, and, there know. doesn't rain. Yeah. 180 different degrees yes. in yeah. terms of New yeah. York versus LA, both amazing places. Yeah. But what about your fans? Do you get recognized still for the Good Wife? Is that the thing you get recognized for the most? It's, it depends. It depends on who it is in right. terms of Gilmore Girls or the Good Wife. Um, I've had many interesting experiences with fan interactions in both. One that um, with the good wife that makes me think, um, wow, that was a unique experience was I was at the gym and I was in a locker room and a naked man oh. came up and uh, he was naked and I was okay, seated. Okay, but I told and, you I apologize. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yes. I told him I apologize for that. You were so nice. I mean, I, I know. know. Was, thank you. I'm glad we have this moment. I now we're going to talk about you it. You look a lot different right now <laughs> with, with the clothes on. I can see that. All right, yeah. let me stand up. Yeah. Oh, okay, now I got it. Now I got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> has 
Are you yes. been drinking? Uh, anyway, what happened? So uh, that's it. That's it. I had, uh, I had a, a naked man, and you came in, yeah, and uh, yeah. you loved the show. So do you, so. Shake, is he, do you shake hands? Do you try not to make eye contact? Yeah, I kind of was yeah. doing one of these. Yeah. You know, yeah. just kind of didn't want to yeah. make any false moves. I uh, didn't want anything to either way. Trouble. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So that was one fan interaction that was uh, yeah. pretty special. So it's great to see you again. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So take us back to the Gilmore Girls now. Now you're you're starring in uh, a year, the year in the life, right? Thank you. Logan returns. Yeah, you know, it's it's an unbelievably unique experience because the show, in terms of when it started, the original series was 16 years ago. Yeah. And yeah. here we are now. And um, I play a character, Logan Huntsberger, and, and I was on seasons five, six, and seven of the original series. And that, that finished in 2007. And, wow. and now we're back with these four chapters that are 90 minutes long and on Netflix. People and love so the great. show. They yeah. love the Gilmore Girls. I yeah. mean... I, I have to say, there was... So, uh, if you get the news crawl on your phone, you know how yeah. you can get that news app? So it was all election, all election, all election, all election, all election, all election, all election. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it went, Gilmore Girls, Gil Gilmore Girls, Gilmore Girls. And it was like, that was the only thing that changed yeah. the election yeah. narrative was the, thank God for Gilmore Girls. Uh, we have something to live for again. Thank you. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like crazy. It was really... How People forgot how much they needed this show. Well, it, it's comfort food. It's, yeah. And, you know, since 2007 when it finished, um, fans have been wanting more, and we never thought it was going to happen. So it's kind of that um, amazing thing, kind of like going back to college, and you get to do all those things over again that you love that was such a special moment in your life. So wow. it, it was a great job, this this new new series, because we never thought it was going to happen, and that's a credit to the fans that it's come back. That's great. Well, we love seeing you on the screen. So it's Gilmore Girls. gift guide week with some perfect presents for the little ones in your life here with the hottest new toys is the toy guy himself Chris Burr. Hey, how are you? How are you? So we're going to start out with one of the most classic kids properties of all time since 1945. This is Thomas the Tank Engine. This wow. is the movie, and Harold's going to lift him up and he's going up. up what? Up. And oh my goodness, what's happening? The bridge is out, but what's he going to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like I that. can picture Mark assembling this on Christmas Eve right now. How do you do this when you're inebriated? Right. Yeah, we, we can't put this thing together. <laughs> we tell you, don't start after midnight after you've had some eggnog. Yeah, right. right. You guys may remember these. Yes, from before. I remember. They're back them. again. They're called the Singamaling. Squeeze their stomachs. And they've got, they're just yeah. super cute. They're from Funrise. They're about $12.99. They're really cute. They're really sweet. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, it's yeah. One really of the most popular collectibles right now are called Num Noms. These little characters are just, I know, I <laughs> know. They're just called Num Noms. But now what you can do is you can actually make your own lip gloss. Oh, so you, my gosh. You go ahead, yeah. put that in. Oh, cool. You can put add some in, flavoring it, to it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then you just stir it up. Okay. And you can stir you have it. your own you have your own sparkling okay. lip gloss, which is great. I'll just put it on. That yeah, will not ahead. make a mess in the house at all. Well, it actually doesn't. It's pretty well no, it's, it's nice. pretty well yes. contained, mm. but it's from MGA. It's really really kind of clever. <laughs> now, of course, we all know Moana opened earlier this yes. Yes. last week. Big this is show. Sing and Swing Maui because he's got. He's got his fish hook. Oh, he, wow. Right, I mean, a fish hook. Yeah. Every, everybody needs a fish every, hook. Every child needs to play with a yeah. fish hook, which is, but it's, the He's movie's so huge. It's really yeah. adorable, and they love this. These are all the range, right? These are all what the range. This? These are called Hatchimals. They start as an egg. You nurture the egg. This is like the new Furby, right? Right, it is like the new, you, you nurture the egg. And here, I'm going to let you hatch that one. Okay. You just pull the do top. Do I sit on it, no, or no, do you, I pull it, it out? It's, it's pretty okay. sad. It's pretty okay. sad. You okay. can just pull the top oh, off. okay. You can just, there you go, and it hatches. Aww. And there's all these little characters. Now, these are really hard to find, but yes. do not spend a fortune online. You know, yes. just wait for them yeah, to come out. Yeah, just wait. It'll, you know... Your Patience Project is MC virtue. Squared is all about this car down here on the floor. It's all about teaching uh, girls and boys about about action, about science. This has a water uh, that, that completes the circuit, so you can see the steam yeah, coming out of the, the back steam. of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's an RC car, and it's got steam coming out of the back because the water goes in and completes the circuit, oh, and it wouldn't work without that. So it's just really a way of, of teaching kids about circuitry while having fun time with the fashion. Wow, yeah. Uh-oh. And I finally for this segment, we've got... Yeah. I had something like this when I was a well, kid. Of course you did. It's back again. Crisscross Crash. Crash! Yes! <laughs> it's a classic! It's a classic! Oh my god! So here you go. You just yep. start these guys in. And
and it's all about creating mayhem. <laughs> It's really, it's really, I had that. Yeah, I had, to do, had I had to do that with my hand. Yes, exactly. And it's all about creating all the mayhem and getting all the cards going. And of course, making your mayhem. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stick around. Hey, we're back with we're back with Chris Byrne, who's got some incredible toys for us to check. Check Hi. out this. Check out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Uh, wait. Okay. okay, these are the toys you're looking for. We've got the Stormtrooper Mac Garbator. And look at this! Iron Man! That's from Hasbro the Collectible, which is really kind of cool. That was amazing. That was amazing. You guys actually put this company on the map. We with did? The, with the Zycon. When I brought the original one here about five years ago. Oh, yeah. Pull back and twist, and then let it fly. There you go. Mine's Magic! Magic! Yeah, that's it. No, you don't squeeze. Pull back and twist Just and then let go. Pull back and twist and let go. And then let go. There you oh. go. Oh, nice. Okay, fun, now fun, this fun. is flying is a really big thing, and Mark, you are the best at flying these toys. So yeah. I'm going to give you this. Start by pushing that blue button. Okay. And there she goes. And Kelly, you can take the flying gas. Okay. And just start it. Start it up. Push it. Push up on that. Whoa. Okay, of course that one doesn't want to work. But there's that's Whee! the Barbie hoverboard, and this is the flying gas from Minecraft. There it goes. <laughs> it works all of a sudden. There you go. And, and, it's, and it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> Nicely done. Nice. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you. These are the, the battle bots. Are really are really big. This is the from from uh, Hexbugs, the battle yeah, boxes, like, you know, bugs, yeah. and you, you can uh, actually get them to. Of course, yeah. he's not working that well. But yeah. as they battle, they actually smash each other apart, and then yeah. the last one standing is the one who, who has. Do you ever broken. wonder if maybe we sabotage these toys before you come out? No, I know okay. you never do. Okay. Because okay. Sometimes TV lights and IR yeah. doesn't work so <laughs> right, well. Right. Check this guy out. This is the smart R two D two. Oh, cool. It's connected via an app. <gasps> uh, you can actually do all kinds of things with him. You can drive him. He is voice activated. He'll have a good. He's just a great character. Uh, this is from Hasbro. It's a super interactive toy. And then, you know, last year I brought you Pie Face. Yeah, Pie Face. I've yeah. made it better. Well, I have made it. It's better yeah. this year because now it's a head-to-head -head competition. You're going to want to take your helmet off. Oh, okay. Uh, because it, now it's whoever is... Oh, there you go. My head is so big. And, but now we're going to get you... Okay. Whoever is fastest on the trigger is going to get the other person uh, smacked with the whipped cream. So okay. put, put your faces in. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, no, wait a minute. Uh, go ahead. $24.99. Nicely done. Oh, this is the extra cream. This it's is the, it's the good stuff. Thank you, friends. To know more about anything you see on live, just log on to our website, livekelly.com. I love Dan Loria. Yeah, my character's dating the coach's daughter. You're dating the coach's daughter? Somebody has to do it. Oscar. Oscar's such a scoundrel. That's a, a scene from Pitch, which airs tonight at 9 p.m. on Fox. So make sure you check out my co-host slash husband, Mark Smithers. Now listen. Pat Weiser from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania says, please tell Mark that this cat would love to lick him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is a tweet from Lisa McCowan. Um, I think I may be the first person to know that you guys were married. I was the flight attendant. You ordered champagne for your wife. Wow. So it's $175 now that I spent. I can't. No, I can't. It must, have, it must not have been a flight. It was that complimentary right. champagne. Yeah, it had to be complimentary. <laughs> Uh, I wonder, Joan Rogan said, I wonder how many women have complained about breathing to their husbands. I know I have for years. <laughs> yeah, I You breathe know. in, you breathe out. Uh, it just, goes on constantly. I feel like you are sucking the air out of my lungs. Uh, Alicia Bardston from Kentucky said, I was just, uh, oh no, Alicia from Bardston, Kentucky. I was just wondering if he becomes a bit of a baby when it comes to getting a shot. I know a lot of guys do. Uh, if so, Mark, uh, you're not alone. What, a shot of whiskey or a shot in the arm? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not bad with shots. No, you're not bad, not with, bad with shots, shots. Yeah. no. Taking blood is another situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, listen, thank you for being here thank today. Thank you for having Love me. Love having you.
we should do? We should write our wedding vowels. <laughs> you're so you're a monster. <laughs> we should write our wedding vows yeah. and um, but write them the way that would actually mean something to us instead of the honor and obey because you know we don't honor or no, obey, obey each other. Yeah. So but we but it would be amazing like if I were to say to you I promise to not resist the urge to make you taste and smell everything that's horrible right. and you promise not to, to breathe in my face and lower the temperature all the time. Wait, breathe in your face. Is this, this you, is new. Well, you're, I feel like you suck the oxygen out of my lungs, but that's not. <laughs> that's not a big that's, that's, that's a new one. Well, it's not real. It's not really new. I just. It's not new. It's I, just, I just keep it down. I keep it deep down. I keep it deep, Too deep loudly. down. Yeah. You know, you 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 breathe. <laughs> <laughs> be time for. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's not too late for couples therapy. No. <laughs> we have a huge show. Yeah. We do, we yeah. Show. Who's on the show today? Liev Schreiber's here, wow. everybody. Yeah. I, love, I love his voice. Yes. He's got a great voice. He has one of the greatest voices. He does all of the... Um, or used to do. I'm not sure he uh, still does yeah, it. Yeah, uh, for HBO, he boxing. was doing all of the boxing yeah. documentary voiceovers. And, and he really yeah. is like... Every time I see him, and I may have said this out loud a few times, like, I said, can you just say Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing yeah, when he says yeah, that. Yeah, and he always, he always laughs, but I'm sure he's annoyed. Well, anyway. we'll make him say it today. Yeah, well, also here from uh, Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, Matt Zucri is here. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> and we continue live's holiday gift guide con uh, it continues with a look at the hottest toys this season. Toys! We're going to play with toys! Yeah. I love the toy guy. I love the toy guy. I, I have to say this. We have three kids, as you know, a 19-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a 13-year-old. And the only uh, child that has made out their Christmas list is our 19-year-old. And it is true. riddled with toys and comedy. He goes, and I'm like, I don't left, even know what to make out of it. Before he left for school Sunday night, he goes, I just want to make sure my Christmas list is approved. Yeah. I go, what are you talking about? You have a Christmas list? We're like, list? aren't you a grown-up? Aren't you like a... <laughs> Didn't you vote in this election? I mean, kind of like, aren't you... Did you approve it? I was like, we're good, right? Yeah. We don't need to go out and buy Buy you toys, right? <laughs> He's like, well, there's a couple of collectibles. <laughs> I'm telling you, we have, we have some collectibles. Oh, he'll like some of them. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, so, slip them yeah. in the trunk of the car, Gelm. <laughs> 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 okay, it's time for Lives of Party Travel Trivia! returns. Yeah, you know, it's, it's an unbelievably unique experience because the show, in terms of when it started, the original series was 16 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. here we are now, and um, I play a character, Logan Hunsberger, and, and I was on seasons 5, 6, and 7 of the original series, and that, that finished in 2007, and, wow. and now we're back with these four chapters that are 90 minutes long and on Netflix. People and love so the great. show. They yeah. love the Gilmore Girls. I yeah. mean... I, I have to say, there so uh, if you get the news crawl on your phone, you know how yeah. you can get that news app? So it was all election, all election, all election, all election, all election, all election, all <laughs> election. And then all of a sudden it went, Gilmore Girls, Gil Gilmore Girls, Gilmore Girls. And it was like, that was the only thing that changed yeah. the election yeah. narrative was the thank God for Gilmore Girls. Uh, we have something to live for again. You, you know what I mean? It was yeah. like crazy. It was really how... People forgot how much they needed this show. Well, it, it's comfort food. It's, yeah. And, you know, since 2007 when it finished, um, fans have been wanting more, and we never thought it was going to happen. So it's kind of that um, amazing thing, kind of like going back to college, and you get to do all those things over again that you love that was such a special moment in your life. So wow. it, it was a great job, this this new new series, because we never thought it was going to happen, and that's a credit to the fans that it's come back. That's great. Well, we love seeing you on the screen. So it's Gilmore Girls. week with some perfect presents for the little ones in your life here with the hottest new toys is the toy guy himself Chris Burr. Hey, how are you? Hi, nice you. So we're going to start out with one of the most classic kids properties of all time since 1945. This is Thomas the Tank Engine. This wow. is the, and Harold's going to lift him up and he's going up. up what? Up. And oh my goodness. 
what's happening? The bridge is out, but what's he going to do? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I knew you'd like that. I can picture Mark assembling this on Christmas Eve right now. It. How do you do this when you're inebriated? Right. Yeah, we we can't put this thing together. <laughs> We tell you, don't start after midnight after you've had some eggnog. Yeah, right. right. You guys may remember these. Yes, from before. I remember. They're them. back again. They're called the Singamaling. Squeeze their stomachs. And they've got, they're just yeah. super cute. They're from Funrise. They're about $12.99. They're really cute. They're really sweet. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. One of the most popular collectibles right now are called Num Noms. These little characters are just, I know, I know. <laughs> they're just called Num Noms. But now what you can do is you can actually make your own lip gloss. Oh, so my you, gosh. You go ahead, put yeah. that in. Oh, cool. You can put add in, some flavoring it, to it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then you just stir it up. Okay. And you can stir you have it? your own you have your own sparkling okay. lip gloss, which gonna, is great. I'll just put it on. That yeah, will not ahead. make a mess in the house at all. Well, it actually doesn't. It's pretty well no, it's, it's nice. pretty well yes. contained, mm. but it's from MGA. It's really really kind of clever. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for waking up and being here with us. I would wow. think these are terrible hours for you. It, I had two shows yesterday, so I'm, I'm a little slow on the uptake, but that entrance right there with the corridor of, Wakes you uh, up, right? Yeah, that, that'll get you. Yeah, Hallway of Champions. Hallway of Champions. How are your sons? My sons are great. He, I, have to, I have to brag. Liev's kids are the best looking kids I think I've ever seen. I think you're right. Yeah, no, they're, they're, like, they're like the J. Crew catalog kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. I'm, you know, I, yeah, sure. Okay, right. The All J. right, Crew okay, catalog fine. Kids. They're cuter than those kids. They're yeah, thank is that you. what you want to hear? That's what I mean. Cuter than the J. Crew catalog kids would have been the right <laughs> thing think, to say. Do you think they're going to follow in the footsteps? Do you, do you think they want to be actors? What are they like? Right now, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Right. Um, I wish that I could discourage them in right. some way, but I don't think you can. I no. think you have yeah. no, you know what I mean? I don't think you have control over stuff Well, you like weren't that. discouraged, were you? No, my mother loved it. Yeah, she thought right. it was the greatest thing in the world. She actually wanted me to be a ballet dancer. Which no, was, no kidding. That would have been interesting. How did that, did you, did you, did you do ballet I lessons? I did. <laughs> yeah. I did, briefly. And we have uh, a photo right here. Yeah. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> That would have been, been amazing. I was like, Mark, do you I really? Just almost relieved myself in this game. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first, no, Liev. You know what I'm I saying? Yeah. Hey, now, when will Ray Donovan return? Because I know you're taking Same time. A, we'll same be time. back okay. next year. Great. Great. Super. Yeah. Um, we look forward to that. I heard this crazy rumor. Mm. Uh, we talked about your mom before. Uh, did you have a childhood hood nickname that oh, is like... Boy. Huggy Wuggy Wookie Wookie or something? What? What? You had like a childhood nickname. I, I, didn't we talk about this? So you're just well, like, you, just like you you're punishing said it was, me. You like, said your it's Huggy was Buggy Pinchy Winchy. Pinchy Winchy, right? Last time you said it was Huggy, but then somebody told me it, else. Well, they're like, no, Huggy's, it's longer. Than Huggy, that. what's Huggy is what's stuck. Right. My brothers and my mother. I, you know, I'm almost fifty. I'm six three. I'm two hundred and fifteen pounds, and my whole family calls me Huggy. Yeah. And <laughs> my my brother, when I was an infant, reached into my carriage and I grabbed his ears and pulled him down to me and bit his nose. And I, which is something that all babies do. This is not a remarkable thing. I love the way Liev said that. All babies all do babies this. All babies do that. And then I you punched get, him in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Only this baby does. Well, no. and, and he said, he responded to that. He told my mom, that's Huggy Buggy Pinchy Winchy. That's oh, how I got that. That's okay. So, oh, that's yeah. sweet. We're going to get an RC car, and it's got steam coming out of the back because the water goes in and completes the circuit, oh. and it wouldn't work without that. So it's just really a way of, of teaching kids about circuitry while having fun time at the fashion Wow, hall. yeah. Uh-oh. And I finally for this segment, we've got... Yeah. I had something like this when I was a well, kid. Of course you did. It's back again. Crisscross Cross crash. crash. Yes. <laughs> it's a classic. It's a classic. <laughs> oh, my God. So here you go. You just yep. start these guys in, and it's all about... It's really, it's really, I had that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, had to do, had I had to do that with my hand. Yes, exactly. And it's all about creating all the mayhem and getting all the cars going. And of course, making your mayhem. Oh, I'm sorry. Make oh, no. With Chris Byrne, who's got some incredible toys for us to check. Check Hi. out the. Check out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, 
Uh, okay. okay, these are the toys you're looking for. We've got the Stormtrooper Mac Darvader. And look at this! Iron Man! That's from Hasbro, the collectible, which is really kind of cool. That was amazing. That was amazing. You guys actually put this company on the map. We did? With the Zycon. When I brought the original one here about five years ago. Oh, yeah. Pull back and twist, and then let it fly. There you go. Mine's Magic! Magic! Yeah, that's it. No, you don't squeeze. Pull back and twist Just and then let go. Just pull back and twist and let go. And then let go. There you oh. go. Oh, nicely. Yeah. Nice. Right. Okay, fun, now, fun, this fun. is, flying is a really big thing, and Mark, you are the best at flying these toys, so yeah. I'm going to give you this. Start by pushing that blue button. Okay. And there she goes. And Kelly, you can take the flying gas. Okay. And just start it, start it up, push, push up on that. Whoa. Okay, of course that one doesn't want to work. But there's that's the Barbie hoverboard, and this is the flying gas from Minecraft. There it goes. Oh! <laughs> it works all of a sudden. There you go. And, and it's and it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> Nicely done. Nice. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you. These are the the battle bots. Are really are really big. This is the from from uh, Hexbugs, the battle yeah, box. Like, you know, yeah, Hexbugs. Yeah. You can uh, actually get them to. Of course, yeah. He's not working that well. But yeah. as they battle, they actually smash each other apart. And then yeah. the last one standing is the one who, who hasn't. Do you been ever broken. wonder if maybe we sabotage these toys before you come out? No, I know okay. you never do okay. because okay. sometimes TV lights and IR yeah. doesn't work so <laughs> right, well. Right. Check this guy out. This is the Smart R2 D2. Oh, cool. It's connected via an app. <gasps> uh, you can actually do all kinds of things with him. You can drive him. He gets voice activated. He'll have a good. He's just a great character. Uh, this is from Hasbro. It's a super interactive toy. And then, you know, last year I brought you Pie Face. Yeah, Pie Face. I've yeah. made it better. Well, I have made it. It's better yeah. this year because now it's a head-to-head -head competition. You're going to want to take your helmet off. Oh, okay. Uh, because <laughs> off this Christmas oh, party. Yes. So I don't know what kind of shape we're going to be in. Well, we're going to DVR We're going to DVR We're going to DVR it. It. We're going to drunk watch Cause we're gonna, Yeah, because we're going to be cutting loose with this band of marauders you see around you <laughs> operating equipment. I hope everybody's able to operate the equipment tomorrow because it's going to be messy. It's, it's going to be a messy, really messy, messy tomorrow. Messy tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so listen, I yeah. know that you love cats. You are a cat lover. <laughs> Nobody loves a cat as much as Mark. <laughs> no? Nope. Mm. I'm I'm highly allergic. Oh, that's right. You're allergic. I'm I knew there was something about allergic, you and cats. Like airborne. Like airborne. Allergic. Right. Right. So have you ever been licked by a cat? Never. Never? I don't You've think so. You've never been licked by no. a why? Because cats, who's been licked by a cat? Right? It's great. Right? Guys, it's a great feeling, right? You're like, what is that? It's like, it's like, it's like I'm being exfoliated. Does it feel like a, like a, like, like a shark skin? No, it's not a shark skin. It's like sand, it's like more sandpapery. It's yeah. like, it's like pricklier. It's like, it's like, it's like if a Christmas tree brush was brushing up against you, almost like a branch of a Christmas tree. Okay. So cat's sandpapery tongue is actually magical detangling hairbrush material on the tongue of a cat. And check it out, I have it enlarged so you can feast your eyes on what the cat's tongue looks like. So it's... It's like little, it's like little bristles. Like yeah, little and it's got like a piece of its own hair there, you can see. Where on the tongue is the part that makes the people who own the cat crazy? Where is that? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like I the don't crazy know. cat person. Where's, yes. where's, no, no offense to people who have cats no. out there. No, no, none taken. But there is a thing. I there's read a, a thing. thing. There's a thing. There's a scientific study about I read a thing that, that, that when cats were introduced into certain cities back, you know, a couple centuries ago, the instance of um, schizophrenia went up. I'm just saying. <laughs> That they have, I, 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 it's true. It's, it's, it's true. It's, it was in a, it was um, it in was a newspaper. In, it was in a newspaper. I read it. That there's a there's something that makes you want to have more cats. Yes, they release a chemical when you touch a cat. They say that there's a protein that is released, an yeah. enzyme that makes you desire more cats, which is why you see so many multi-catted people. Or specifically, ladies. Hey, here's another cat tongue picture. Hey. hey. We have another one too. Oh, we do? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember that cool. gadget there? Yeah, that was amazing. Guys, don't knock it till you try it. Don't your yuck my. <laughs> your hair looks great in that picture. My hair looks great in that picture? Yeah, it was very blonde. It was nice. It's like, I like it. It's it looks exactly like it looks yeah. right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's, that's what's good about you, Mark. Every day is like a new day. It's like day. a new day. He's like, hi, I'm Mark.
Mark. And I'm like, I know, I'm your wife of 20 years. 20 some odd years. 20 some odd years. Um, hey, yes. this is really sad. I was I very think sensible that when they asked for the video recording as proof of us getting married. I said, no. <laughs> I said, I just want the audio recording. <laughs> Just the audio recording. A lot cheaper. I know. A lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper because, you know, the video recording cranked the price up another $20. <laughs> and it it's one thing edge. to spend $179 on your wedding. It's an entirely different thing to spend $199 on your wedding. Anyway, <laughs> funny you should bring it up. So this couple yeah. had their 70th wedding anniversary. Oh, nice. Okay, amazing, incredible. They, like us, had a simple wedding. Right. They were high school sweethearts. They had no photos from their wedding day. They said that they were sure people had cameras back in those days, but nobody thought to bring one. So they recreated okay. with their four children, eight grandchildren, eight uh, and eight great-grandchildren, their 70th anniversary on Thanksgiving Day, and they recreated their wedding photos. Aww, that's Isn't that nice? It's very sweet. I, very sweet. I really hope that for us, and I hope that on our... We only have 50 more years to go. You, can do a video. you think we can do it in 50 wanna, years? In 50 years, I want to do a video. Okay. <laughs> by then, by, by then. By then. What will it, it won't be video. By it then, won't even be it like, won't be video. We'll just blink at each other, and we'll and the yeah, chip like, in our brains will record you'll everything. Be like, you'll, you'll be like, smell this, it's horrible. <laughs> Taste this, it's terrible. Do you promise to smell and taste all of the horrible things? <laughs> yes. You know what we should do? We should write our wedding... Vowels? <laughs> you're, so, you're a monster. <laughs> we should write our wedding vows, yeah. and um, but write them the way that would actually mean something to us instead of the honor and obey, because, you know, we don't honor or no, obey, obey each other. Yeah. So, but we, but it would be amazing, like, if I were to say to you, I promise to not resist the urge to make you taste and smell everything that's horrible. Right. And you promise not to, to breathe in my face and lower the temperature all the time. Wait, wait, breathe in your face? Is this, this you, is new. Well, you're, I feel like you suck the oxygen out of my lungs, but that's not. <laughs> that's not a big that's, that's, that's a new one. Well, it's not real. It's not really new. I just. It's not new. It's I, just, I just keep it down. I keep it deep down. I keep it deep, Too deep loudly. down. Yeah. You know, you 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 breathe. <laughs> <laughs> time for. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's not too late for couples therapy. No. <laughs> we have a huge brother worked at McDonald's. You shut your mouth. He worked at McDonald's. <laughs> he was the fry guy. And so we had stacks of these, these cards. And the U.S. won everything, I think, because the Soviet Union at the time didn't participate that year, right? right. So it was just like the U.S. Did you see our research team go... Yeah. <laughs> well, I go to Gelman with all my questions. Yeah, he's yeah, our yeah. sports expert. I had so many Big Macs that year. Was your brother sneaking you extra scratch-offs? Yeah, well, that's, that was yeah. part of the gig. Yeah, right. Extra scratch-offs. Right. Scratch-offs. Right. Scratch-offs. <laughs> scratch <-offs. laughs> Sorry, Mike. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, listen, yeah. we always talk about this because Mark and I got married and we eloped, you know, and our wedding, uh, and I'm very, uh, the thing I'm proudest about not the endurance of our marriage. Right. Because I think lots of... Not the of, three kids. No, I am proud of the three okay. kids. But what I'm proud of in terms of our wedding is that it only cost $179, including airfare. <laughs> because I was I very sensible that, when they asked for the video recording as proof of us getting married. I said, no. <laughs> I said, I just want the audio recording. <laughs> Just the audio recording. A lot cheaper. I know. A lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper because, you know, the video recording cranked the price up another $20. <laughs> and it it's one thing edge. to spend $179 on your wedding. It's an entirely different thing to spend $199 on your wedding. Anyway, <laughs> funny you should bring it up. So this couple yeah. had their 70th wedding anniversary. Oh, okay, nice. amazing, incredible. They, 
like us, had a simple wedding. Right. They were high school sweethearts. They had no photos from their wedding day. They said that they were sure people had cameras back in those days, but nobody thought to bring one. So they recreated okay. with their four children, eight grandchildren, eight uh, and eight great grandchildren, Aww. their 70th anniversary on Thanksgiving Day, and they recreated their wedding photos. Aww, that's Isn't that nice? That's very sweet. I, very sweet. I really hope that for us, and I hope that on we our... We only have 50 more years to go. And you can do it. You think we can do it in 50 wanna, years? In 50 years, I want to do a video. Okay. <laughs> by then, by, by then. By then. Well, it won't be video. By it then, won't even be it like... won't be video. We'll just blink at each other, and we'll uh, and the yeah, chip like, in our brains will record you'll everything. Be like, you'll, like, you'll be like, smell this, it's horrible. <laughs> Taste this, it's terrible. Do you promise to smell and taste all of the horrible things? <laughs> yes. You know what we should do? We should write our wedding... Vowels? <laughs> you're, so, you're a monster. <laughs> we should write our wedding vows. I thought you might say, oh, is that what you call it? Oh, that's funny. Which so you had two... Oh. I had, just in case, oh. take that, Neil Patrick Harris, with your little yeah. sealed envelope. Yeah, that's funny. You're like that octopus that predicts presidential elections and stuff, <laughs> and, the, and the Super Bowl winners. What did you miss, and what did you not miss? Of About having, you? Yeah. What did you, well, what? I mean, what do you mean? You act like you were away overseas. You were at in war. California. I was at war. Yeah, you were in California, and I, um, I saw you like every other weekend. That's true. Uh, what did I miss about you? Okay, yeah. I missed everything. I love the way you smell. I love mm. the way you look. And I sleep better when you're in the house. Except for last night, for some right. reason, I didn't sleep at all. But that's not the point. But everybody wants to hear what, 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 did, what did you not miss? Well, I've already told everybody. <laughs> you come in, and but you would do this. You would do this from California because I don't know what kind of magic you have on your phone. He controls the temperature of every room. <laughs> Suddenly, I'll be sleeping, and the air conditioner will kick on. And I'm freezing, and I turn the air off, and a few minutes later, it's back on. And I turn it off, and then I call him, and I say, whatever you're so doing, So you hate the fact it. that I'm like, I, I control, I like to control things. You hate that. You control everything. Right. Well, I missed everything. About well. me? Yes, missed everything, except for one thing. One thing is that... <laughs> Thing is a setup. It is. So he tell you what he didn't miss about me. It, it is. Are you? You're watching this, right? No. Okay. So there's there's one thing you do is like if you smell something bad, or if you taste something bad, yeah. <laughs> you want me to taste it and smell it. Yeah. And I just yeah. don't want to taste or smell any of that stuff. And what? Well, we're like that commercial. Well, that commercial. If you check right here, there's a commercial. Wait. Hey, check, check it out. I've I queued up. Oh, it's uh -oh. awful. Try it. Oh no, that looks gross. What is that? You gotta try it. It's terrible. I don't want to try it. It's terrible. It's like mango chutney and, and burnt hair. No, thank you. I have a very palate. Just try it. <laughs> That's what you do to me. I'm like, I don't want to smell it. I just we, don't. We what? first saw that commercial, and I thought that car company or what, that insurance company uh, bugged our house. Because we've had that. We've had the chutney and burnt hair conversation. Yes. Where I'm like, taste this. It tastes like mango chutney and burnt hair. Right. Right? Right. right. And I don't like doing that. All right, so I so don't so don't smell it. Don't taste it. <laughs> when when is that show going to production again? That's all I have to say. God, I hope soon. I will I will say this. You have never looked younger than when you lived away from us. Really? You came in. Yeah. He came in. He looked like Harry Hamlin in Clash of the Titans. Oh. On the winged Pegasus in a loincloth. <laughs> Tan. I'm not kidding. Tan. Hair, fl hair like flowing. He had he had Medusa's head in a bag. I was Medusa, <laughs> and, and I just looked. Uh, I look. I feel like I aged like seven years. Who's uh, didn't want anything to either way. Trouble. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So that was one fan interaction that was uh, yeah. pretty special. So it's great to see you again. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So take us back to the Gilmore Girls now. Now you're you're starring in uh, a, 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 a Thank you. 
Logan returns. Yeah, you know, it's, it's an unbelievably unique experience because the show, in terms of when it started, the original series was 16 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. here we are now. And um, I play a character, Logan Hunsberger, and, and I was on seasons five, six, and seven of the original series. And that, that finished in 2007. And, wow. and now we're back with these four chapters that are 90 minutes long and on Netflix. And People love so the great. show. They yeah. love the Gilmore Girls. Yeah. I mean, I, I have to say, there is, so uh, if you get the news crawl on your phone, you know how yeah. you can get that news app? So it was all election, all election, all election, all election, all election, all election, all election. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it went, Gilmore Girls, Gil Gilmore Girls, Gilmore Girls. And it was like, that was the only thing that changed yeah. the election yeah. narrative was the thank God for Gilmore Girls. Oh. We have something to live for again. Thank you know you. what I mean? It was yeah. that crazy. It was really how people forgot how much they needed this show. Well, it, it's comfort food. It's, yeah. And, you know, since 2007 when it finished, um, fans have been wanting more, and we never thought it was going to happen. So it's kind of that um, amazing thing, kind of like going back to college, and you get to do all those things over again that you love that was such a special moment in your life. So wow. it, it was a great job, this this new new series, because we never thought it was going to happen, and that's a credit to the fans that it's come back. That's great. Well, we love seeing you on the screen. So it's Gilmore Girls. gift guide week with some perfect presents for the little ones in your life here with the hottest new toys is the toy guy himself Chris Burr. Hey, how are you? Hi, nice to you. So we're going to start out with one of the most classic kids properties of all time since 1945. This is Thomas the Tank Engine. This wow. is the and Harold's going to lift him up and he's going up. up what? Up. And oh my goodness, what's happening? The bridge is out, but what's he going to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like I that. can picture Mark assembling this on Christmas Eve right now. Thing. How do you do this when you're inebriated? Right. Yeah, we, we can't put this you, thing together. We tell you, don't start after midnight after you've had some eggnog. Yeah, right. right. You guys may remember these. Yes, from before. I remember. They're back them. again. They're called the Singamaling. Squeeze their stomachs. And they've got, they're just yeah. super cute. They're from Funrise. They're about $12.99. They're really cute. They're really sweet. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, it's yeah. One really... of the most popular collectibles right now are called Num Noms. These little characters are just, I know, <laughs> I know. They're just called Num Noms. But now what you can do is you can actually make your own lip gloss. Oh, so my you, gosh. So you go ahead, yeah. put that in.